Bristol City players and staff took time out from their schedule this week to visit Children's Hospice South West at Charlton Farm, the club's chosen charity for the second successive season. Everyone got into the Christmas spirit and as the players turned Santa, presenting the children and their families with numerous gifts, much excitement was generated throughout the hospice. A couple of years ago we just walked in really off the street and asked if we could do something with the hospice and um, they said what, they didn't really understand and we just started raising money through the generosity of the players and the staff, auctioning off boots and shirts that we collected and uh, various events that we that we done in conjunction with the football club and it just has rolled on from there really. Oh, it's one of the best days in the calendar this is. It's a, a moment when obviously all the Bristol City team come on down to the, to the hospice and meet all the families that we've got here staying and, and all the Bristol City families are invited in to meet their, well what is their idols and it's an amazing day for these children that you know have got nothing but conditions so it's one of those days to give them a little boost, a little Christmas boost and uh, yeah, get the families you know, all smiling, singing carols. It's just a great, great day and it's just an example of how well this partnership has gone and it's great to bring it into another year. Um, so yeah, it's a fantastic day and it means so much to me, but you know, those kids out there are smiling constantly, so it's brilliant. I've just been speaking to a few of the parents and some of the kids have got conditions that have not been even diagnosed, so for them to go through that, and it's heartbreaking really, and then you think of how lucky you are with your kids and stuff, but. It's just, it's just a great, I think it's a great that the hospice provides this for the families to give the, to give the families a break and provide all the care for the kids and the siblings can go off and play in all the great rooms that they've got with the messy play and the DVD rooms and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's a great facility for those families to come and take a break. A lot of them are life limited and, and being able to make a memory that your family will cherish. Um, just by taking two hours out of your day is fantastic. I mean, you, you appreciate how how good the facility is and, and how good the services are. Um, obviously it's something that you, you hope you're, you're never going to need yourself. Um, but seeing the, the quality of it and, and how hard everyone works gives you that sort of sense that um, if, if it was needed, you know places like this are here and, and they are fantastic at what they do. I think you'll see at this time of year on, on the television there's a lot of football teams and and sports teams that, that go around and, and do this type of thing but there's a real thirst for, for this today the players have got involved with the singing the Christmas carols and, and you can tell that there's a relationship between this hospice and the club I think I was kind of proud that, that Bristol City um, got involved you know my local club involved in you know such a, a great charity as a, a children's hospice southwest as well it's, it's great you know and there's, there's users of, of Charlton Farm as well you know it just makes it extra special son diagnosed five six years ago um, and you know, we've been coming down for, for a few years now and it's just just great it's great for great for the son great for the family um, we come down sometimes as a family we've uh, let him loose our son loose on his own for a couple of times now as well and uh, it's good it gives us all a break um, got a daughter as well and she probably misses out on a few things as well so it's nice to be able to do things with her and when she comes here as well the siblings team look after her really well as well so yeah it's really 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 nice. We, we need three million pounds for this site to stay open and um, it, it's you know it's a lot of money that we need to raise each year and this is just the Bristol Hospice and we've got one in Devon and one in Cornwall so you know all the money's fantastic and all the awareness is great so you know if someone watching this you know wants to run a marathon you know on, on the back of it and raises even more money for us it's phenomenal and that's you know it's just all helps so it's just brilliant. For more information on the invaluable work carried out by Children's Hospice Southwest visit chsw.org.uk